thrust tends to increase with atomic mass of ablated material. The speed of the ejected atoms was independent of angle at 22 cm away from the target. The ablation time was 1.5 s. The speed of the ejected atoms and implicitly ISB is inversely proportional to the square roots of the atomic mass of ablated material, the lighter the element the higher the specific impulse. Thrust tends to increase with atomic mass of ablated material. The speed of the ejected atoms was independent of angle at 22 cm away from the target. The ablation time was 1.5 s. For the case where ISB has a known value, one can evaluate the thrust force by the following equation. Where G0 represents the gravitational acceleration at the Earth's surface, G0 equals 9.81 meters slash s2. M represents the mass of ions ejected in 1s. Momentum coupling coefficient cm is another method for thrust evaluation. This coefficient characterizes thrust production efficiency. The coefficient is determined as the thrust to laser power ratio. This parameter determines the minimum light power required to produce A1 in thrust. According to the above reference, cm max L equals 6 middle dot 10 minus 5 in W for aluminium. That means that in the case of ablation of a space debris made of aluminium using a solar thermal system with a power of P equals 88.4 kilowatts, the thrust force resulted is. In case the large parabolic mirror has a diameter of RLPM equals 25 meters, the thrust force is. In both cases the thrust force is remarkably high and can deorbit space debris with just a few hits.